Uh, my name is Cormac Taylor. I'm a researcher in the Conway Institute here in University College Dublin uh, and I'm the organiser of a Keystone Symposium which will take place this May 2015 uh, entitled Hypoxia from Basic Mechanisms to Therapeutics. So Celeste Simon from the University of Pennsylvania, uh, Sean Colgan from the University of Colorado and Roland Wenger from uh, the University of Zurich uh, will be co-organising the meeting with me. The main concept that we want to investigate and discuss at this conference is the idea that we as physiologic beings have the capacity to deal with a drop in oxygen concentration and adapt accordingly. Uh, probably the best example of this is in the case of mountain climbers who go to base camp and allow their bodies to respond to the drop in oxygen concentration to increase the expression of genes which help them to adapt to that drop in oxygen and consequently uh, go to higher altitudes and further uh, um, exposures to low oxygen. Uh, what we believe is that if we can understand and harness this ability to respond and adapt to a drop in oxygen that we can actually use that for therapy benefit. Our main aim here is to bring together scientists of diverse interests. So the three key groups we want to target are clinical scientists, basic researchers and uh, industrial scientists or those involved in the in innovative development of these uh, agents for, for, for economic purposes. And we believe that by bringing these groups of scientists together we can synergize in order to really develop our understanding of how tissues, cells and indeed people respond to uh, a drop in oxygen and develop these for therapeutic benefit. We've already got 450 delegates coming to the conference from all over the world. We have people coming from Australia, from New Zealand, from India, from many from Europe, North America and, and elsewhere. Um, and really what we want people to come away from the conference with is an understanding of both the clinical basic and potentially innovative aspects of uh, uh, hypoxic signaling, uh, really with the main drive of trying to understand how can we further develop these uh, approaches for therapeutic benefit in patients in the clinic. And we're really concentrating on diseases like cancer and chronic inflammation, where we believe that targeting hypoxia dependent pathways uh, could be of therapeutic benefit, really um, uh, giving us a new class, if you like, of therapeutics for these diseases. Um, I think this Keystone meeting has attracted a particularly large group of people which we're very excited about because it will really bring a diverse set of views towards how we can approach this topic. Um, it's also quite different in that it's outside of North America. The vast majority of Keystone meetings take place in either uh, the US or Canada. Uh, so it's quite a, a, a exciting to take it outside of the, um, the uh, American experience, if you like. Uh, this meeting has actually been held in conjunction with uh, HypoxiaNet, which is a, a European initiative uh, investigating basic mechanisms of uh, how oxygen regulates uh, disease processes. So this really adds, uh, I would say, an international flavour or a greater international flavour and hopefully a more diverse set of views which will help inform our future understanding of this topic. I think Ireland, uh, unlike many of the Keystone Symposia which are held in ski resorts, unfortunately Ireland does not really uh, have a prowess there. We have one ski slope which closes when it snows, so I don't think that's going to be the main attraction for this particular Keystone meeting. Uh, however, I think the cultural aspects of Dublin um, and hopefully the good weather we'll have in May will um, give people a, a good reason to enjoy the, uh, the sights and sounds of the city as much as they do the science that goes on in the conference.